Hello, Barbara Nicolato here for Del Bello's Designs. In this Talk Crafty to Me video, I'm going to heat three different texture pastes and compare what the effect is when you heat each one. I'm going to use the Snowflake Trio Bauble. It's a sweet poppy stencil design. I have the magnet background to put it on. A sheet of multifarious cardstock, about four and a quarter by five and a half, which I'll probably trim down a little bit later. I have the Sweet Poppy Low Tack stencil tape, and I've already blocked off some areas on the stencil because I'm going to concentrate on this right here first. What I have here to my right are three different pastes that we can use with mica and heat. The three different micas I'm using are all from Sweet Poppy stencils. They're the new uh, jewel tone micas, mica powders. This one's called Venetian Red, Iridescent Peacock, and Gold Dust. I'm going to mix a little of each mica with the paste that's in front of it. So this is called Fluff It Paste by Pink Ink Designs. This is uh, the Opaque Matte Texture Paste by Ranger. And this is the Pearlescent White Sweet Poppy Stencil Dimension Paste. All three can be heated up to give you a particular 3D effect, texture, let's say. Now, I want to mention that when we use Sweet Poppy Micas on cards, we usually spray it with a fixative made of water and mica gum. And that's because these micas do not have a bonding agent in them. And that's a good thing because when you are going to heat these with pastes, you can't use a mica that has a binding agent in it. So these fit the bill for both ways. So let me go ahead and start this little experiment. Uh, I'm going to position this on my paper and this magnet will hold the stencil down. And I think just for ha-has, I might just put a little bit down here as well. Move that paper. Okay. To my left, I've got various um, spatulas and things to mix with. So let's start here. Fluff it paste. White, very glossy, very thin, almost like a, a loose cold cream. that down and with some damp paper towels I'm just gonna clean that off in the middle I'm going to use the Ranger texture paste this is a lot thicker almost like a, a buttercream frosting I would say Pearlescent white. Ooh, this does get very dirty. <laughs> Have lots of paper towels when you're doing this. <laughs> okay. And the pearlescent white. That is pearly, that's for sure. And it does flow easily. I would say maybe a little bit more than the fluff it paste. So let's see what they do. A little Venetian red in here. A little iridescent peacock in here. And a little gold dust in here. That's a lot, actually. <sighs> I 
Okay, now that it's mixed, it, it really isn't that um, glittery looking. But let's see what happens. Now I'll take this one off. I'm bound to get some of the colors mixed in with each other, but I'll try the best I can. I'm noticing when I first go to mix the mica in, it has a tendency to fly away a little, so I'm keeping it very carefully close to the glass that I'm working on. That's not really showing up too much at all. Let's see, I should probably add a little more. All right, I was expecting it to be very red by now, but it's not. Maybe that will change when we heat it. Let's see what happens. And this is the Fluff It Paste. prone to making big messes here. That's for sure. That looks pretty good. And then finally, I'll peel this tape off. Oh yes, I'm a mess here. Okay. Um, now I'm gonna do the gold. That it looks real glittery. I keep a basin of water nearby so I can quickly dunk my stencils into it on occasions such as this. All right, and I'm going to lift it off. Well, that could be left to dry as it is, and that actually has a very pretty texture. It's a smooth texture. Gives it some 3D. I've got a little bit of the um, gold dust on the iridescent blue here. Let's see what happens when I heat it. So we have three totally different textures. Can you see that? This, this is the iridescent blue, so you can see it's got a little bit of glitter into it. This one, the Venetian red, is more of pink when you mix it with the Pink Ink Designs Fluff It Paste. And it was pink to begin with. It never, it never really was red. And this one mixed with gold, the pearlescent white, is a very pearly, uh, almost like a beige gold effect. They, um, they're not hot to touch. 
and I can push this down and squeeze them and they have a little wrinkled effect now can I do that the ranger paste no that's puffed up a little and it stays puffed up and this as I push down on it unless I push down it on it hard it's not really losing its texture so this can be matted and put on a card. We can apply sentiments or decorate it up a little bit. And uh, I'm sure you can think of many other ways to use these pastes. This one right now, the Sweet Poppy Stencil Dimensions, comes out of the UK. And they're not shipping to the USA right now. But our friends in the UK and in the European Union are probably able to purchase that. The Ranger Texture Paste and the Pink Ink Designs Fluff It Paste are both available in the U.S. without a problem. As an afterthought, I decided I didn't want to throw away the three pastes that I was using. So I applied them onto a piece of cardstock. The one I'm pointing to now is the Fluff It Paste Unheated. and this one here is heated. This is the Sweet Poppy Stencil Dimensions paste, heated and unheated. And then in the blue we have the Ranger Texture paste, unheated right here, and heated in the upper left-hand corner. You can see where it's puffing a little. This would make a great page for a multimedia journal or some other project. So there you have it. Comparison of three different pastes when heated. I hope you found this helpful. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. And that if you haven't already done so, that you will consider subscribing to our channel. And also consider joining our Facebook groups. Thank you and have a great day.